Hi, we're Natasha and Martin. Welcome back to our channel. This video takes us through, continues us on our journey through Scotland, where we travel from Largs in Ayrshire, um, up via Glasgow, where we met some friends, uh, and then on to Ben Nevis area. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. So we left our park up, our lovely park up last night, um, place with the pencil. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> oh, Your memory is shocking. It is terrible. What's it called then? Largs. Okay, Largs. Um, we <laughs> we travelled up the beach road intending to head towards a local lake. Um, didn't really fancy the road. The beach road was wonderful. <laughs> I actually saw some dolphins. Yeah. Um, I saw some jump out the water at the corner of my eye and thought, nah, can't be. And then there was another one and another one and we watched them jump sort of, I don't know, a dozen times. We pulled up at the nearest pull-up down the road, but we were just too far away to get any pictures, but it was beautiful. It was just, it just made my day. <sighs> Did you see them? I did, yeah. Um, so now we are at uh, Castle Semple Visitor Centre. Not a great car park, not really geared up for long vehicles, but it closes in half an hour. Um, so the car park's going to really, really empty out very soon. Um, we just tucked ourselves in in the corner um and it doesn't open again till 11 so we'll probably be here uh all right here for overnight it's quite pretty um yeah i'll, I'll turn the camera around and uh, show you what's what <laughs> it's really... lovely quiet lake there's people going about their business there's a guy in there on a one of those stand-up boards yeah yeah that's pretty cool yeah it's a good little area to go around isn't it yeah it's like a gondola but not in Italy. <laughs> like a gondola, but no cornettos. <laughs> no room for people either. Uh, uh, some swans and some geese down here. Isn't that funny? <laughs> and that's about all there is to see. We've just pulled up today at Whitley Wind Farm just outside Glasgow. There is literally hundreds of windmills here. Hundreds of them over this side. Absolutely loads. So this is our park up for the night. It's only about two o'clock-ish, but we've got some work to do this afternoon. So we're um, just going to park up here and have a working afternoon. Um, we're not on the best position at the minute but once all the day visitors have gone um i'm sure we will uh, find some a bit flatter so this is the biggest onshore wind farm in the uk apparently and there you go amazing facts amazing facts that's why these 215 turbines generate enough energy to power the equivalent of more than 300,000 homes that's a lot of power. Uh, over here we have one of the um, blades from the wind farm. It is absolutely huge. Look at the size of this. And that is just one of them. I mean, we'll get a bit closer and go through. Martin, can you walk over there? I mean, look, he's quite tiny next to one. It's just one blade out of three. Massive. Absolutely massive. There you go. There we are, blending nicely into the background. So we left Newton Mean 
Friends this morning after having an absolutely fabulous day meeting with um, uh, friends and my amazing mentor. Um, and then this morning we've driven up to Loch, Lom Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond. Um, for a free um, services area. We can empty and refill without charge. Uh, it's quite busy around here. We had a couple of car parks earmarked for the night, but it's fairly busy. It's quite surprising for a Tuesday. So we are going to skirt round now. We're going to head north to one of the other lakes. I'm actually just going to go to a forest park up oh, right, okay. on, on the way to the other lake. Okay, so we're going to head to a forest park up, park up and uh, come back and do Loch Lomond at a later time. Um, no time saying Loch and not Loch. I was corrected by Scottish yesterday and they are not Lochs, they are Loch. You've got to have the at the end. <laughs> You done? Nothing. What you done? <laughs> Nothing. No. Wipe about your hand. Just doing jigsaw <laughs> with bits of bumper. Uh, somebody put somebody put a stone in the silly place and I reversed into it. Um, so yeah, got a, bit, a few bits of bumper that I've collected. <laughs> um, <laughs> try and put them back together at some point and maybe mm. fiberglass repair them. Um, oh look. Oh, I think that bit goes there. That fits. I think that bit fits there. Oh, look, that, oh, and that bit will fit there as well. Excellent. <laughs> you got to number like them. A little jigsaw. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lay them out. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I should uh, go and see what the damage is. I oh, wouldn't bother. You can guess from them. <laughs> Pretty bad, I imagine. Oh, it's just bumper. Oh, dear. That's a fair chunk of bumper missing. Hmm. Uh, so today we are, are moving off pitch. We've been in uh, Cobbleland Forestry camping site for two nights. Um, the hope was to get out and learn to ride this new bike of mine, um, but it's done nothing but rain. So we have taken some time to chill out. We've done some business planning and some route planning um, and today we are moving off up towards the Trossachs. We have a pitch reserved on one of their forestry park up schemes. Um, it's only about 20 miles or so away. Uh, we're just packing up now and uh, ready to hit the road. Beautiful. So we're on um, another one of these forestry roads where you pay three pound to travel along it um, so we're up in the Trossachs um, and you have to reserve somewhere to park up overnight which we've done yeah, it's um, four pounds so it's four, four pound for overnight plus three pounds to drive the road um, very slow road just 10 mile an hour but it's very pretty so we're just taking a very slow meander along uh, we're in parking area D, um, so it's probably going to be a bit further in. Uh, not sure whether we're going for a walk or what we'll do. The weather again is a bit meh, but we'll see what happens.
Hello, so here we are in the forest, in the trollocks, I mean trossocks. <laughs> trossocks. The trossocks. Um, so this is the three three locks drive area. Um, so there's... Uh, it's in the area of Loch Lomond, isn't it? Yeah, just to the east of that. Mm. Towards trossocks. But, um, yeah, it's a nice place, um, lovely forest. We just went for a drive around the whole area because we missed the place that we were supposed to be stopping at. Uh, a little parking um, sign, just so tiny. The tiny, did this <laughs> big. Um, and you're looking for a little letter of where you've booked. Um, so, um, yeah, not brilliant. They could have made the signs a bit bigger, but... They could have made the sign, I yeah. and I feel it's quite commercialised. I mean, the, the you have to pre-book a slot. You don't really get to choose, and it's literally just like, I don't know, you're on a, just a, a grotty little lay-by, really, on the side of... The road. You've made it sound really shit, but well, when we show, I'll show you some video. Um, the the area is pretty. With the nice. park ups rubbish and the fact that we've had to pay for it and pre-book it. I just, yeah, four pounds. Comparing it to where we were before in Dumfries and Galloway, was it the Forest of Galloway? Galloway Forest. Yeah. yeah. I mean that was nice. so natural and untouched. And yes, there were approved parking areas. There were a couple of off-track areas as well. And I just felt that that was more natural and welcoming and and just for me it just felt nicer um this is just motorhome after motorhome after motorhome just trawling down the hill um i don't know it just it's commercialized it is and i think it's well i think it's just very popular um it's not so busy at the moment but i can imagine in the summer it just gets crazy so they've had to introduce all these different permit areas to say I mean, it's, it's certainly nice to visit, and on a sunny day, I think it would be, I think it would be very nice to stay. Um, but you're right. Um, if you're Can anywhere near, if you're anywhere near Galloway, I'd recommend calling in Galloway Forest near the. Um, Is it Raider Way or Raid Way or? Yeah, like Raider that? Raider Drive. Yeah. Anyway, we would have mentioned it earlier on in the in the video, anyhow. Yeah, you will see it on our <laughs> previous <laughs> travels. Um, definitely worth visiting. Um, we stopped at a place called Otter Pools, Otter Pools. along there. Yeah. Definitely recommend visiting that. Um, yeah. I think we illegally parked there, but um, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you knew, you knew we illegally parked there because the ranger come and told you off. <laughs> she was very nice. Actually. She was very nice. It wasn't really a telling off. It was mm. more. A, uh, you do realise that you're not supposed to park <laughs> here in the following morning. <laughs> So anyway, this is us at um, at the Trossocks on a, another wet Scottish day. Yes. Um, mm. Yeah, not really a lot going on. Don't really fancy a muddy walk. Uh, so we'll probably just do some work. Then. Bit of working day. Cheers. We've had a look at you no know, planning our travels from here. Oh, we have, haven't we? Yeah, we decided we're going to we're going to so. um, definitely going to book to go to Mull, which is something to look forward to. And, and over to the Outer Hebrides, to Harris and the, yeah. the islands off of there as well. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. We've got some more plans about where we're headed. Yeah. And we've been in sort of forestry park ups for several days now. And it's time to, to do something other than look at trees. It's been lovely. But because it's so wet, I'm starting to feel a bit penned in. So, yeah. We you need to, to get out on your bike. I do. I do need to get out on my bike. I absolutely yeah. do. My next top train. You need to go and get your leg over and... Um, See how that works. All right. Okay. Yeah. Think we'll go grab a ride. I think you'll enjoy it. Mm, I probably yeah, will. Definitely should. Mm. Yeah. On that note, see ya. Pigs in trees. <laughs> So we've just arrived at Tarbot Pier to empty the shitter and um, this is what we've got. Oh, I'll show you.
welcome to the beautiful Loch Lomond. Noise behind us is a little tea bar with a generator. Anything that ruins the gentle peace and serenity of this wonderful view. park up for tonight they call it honeymoon bridge not quite found a bridge there's a rather cute stream running down there you probably hear it it's a beautiful little area massive rocks just randomly placed oh, it so they fell down <laughs> magically placed makes it feel quite mystical probably hear the road but that will quieten down soon enough it's currently four o'clock in the afternoon and obviously people are headed in and out and home for tea you can see Piley Bear down there oh, a bit better view of the stream The next morning we continued our journey westward towards Inverary. Inverary Castle. Decided not to go in, they want 14.50 each. And that's a bit much to go look around the castle. Oh yeah, plus 4.50 parking. Uh, yeah, a lot of money just to go look around the castle, although it's very pretty. Well, I have to say, that's as much as we're going to see. Well, it's difficult to tell where the uh, mountains end and the sky begins today. It's really overcast, um, which is a real shame because we're planning to head up towards um, Ben Nevis. But um, maybe we'll just see how it goes and see if the weather changes. Okay, morning. So we're uh, just leaving the forestry park up at Strone Hill, uh, just outside Dalmally. Um, and we're heading up this morning to the Glencoe Mountain Resort um, and then up onto sort of Glen Nevis, Ben Nevis area. So um, hopefully you'll be able to see some of that. currently at Ben Nevis. This was our park up for last night. Absolutely beautiful. Right at the foot of Ben Nevis and at the end of the mountain trail. Walkers come back 
on that trail there. And they're greeted. Oh, I hope it's not too windy and you can hear me. And they're greeted with a sign of the Bed Nevis Inn just over there. Absolutely stunning view. Mountains and pine trees all around us. Okay, so today we're off down to Avon. Uh, we've got some chores to do, shopping and the like. Ready to catch a ferry Wednesday morning over to Mull, which is pretty exciting.